Hello guys, today I saw how a troubleshoot Wi-Fi connected but no internet access. This should work for both Windows 11 and Windows 10. Go to search bar and look up for view network connections. After that, you'll find this third section or option. Right click on it or double click on it and go to properties. After going to properties, you have to select Internet Protocol version 4. Then click on properties and select use the following DN s address and put the numbers 8888 then alternative dns server use 8844 this should fix your problem click on ok and your problem will be fixed let me just go to google and search for anything it's still unresponsive as you guys can see then let's just go to another method open windows and search for run type ipconfig slash Without any space, flash DNS. Click on. If this method didn't work for you, just like it didn't for me, then let's move to another method. By opening Windows and searching for Device Manager, and scroll all the way down to Network Adapters. If you are unsure about what your adapter is, then go to Windows search bar and look up for VU network connections. There you'll find what your connection, what is the connection you are using on your laptop. In this laptop is Intel. Go back to your network adapters and click on your Wi-Fi adapter and update. As you guys can see, my device and adapters are up to date, but the problem was not solved. So what should I do now? I have to move forward by going to Windows search box and look for CMD. Open it. After opening, you have to type NetSH Winsock Reset and click enter. Then just perform the same operation again. If it continues with the problem, then let's move to the ultimate method to solve all the issues. Let's close it and move on. Go to Windows search bar and look up for run and type services.msc click and scroll down till you find Wi-Fi director services connection and click on start close then scroll back up and find radio management service click start if it's not started or if it's not running now continue scrolling up and activate the option network connections 
you have to make sure it's running now just close it it's now time to call task manager so type task manager on windows search bar and execute or run a new task click on browse and find on windows c the folder named system32 once you find cmd or cmd exit click on open and create this task check or tick on it and click on ok you are good to go then here you should execute some few comments the first comment will be net sh windsock reset and click on enter the second comment will be net sh windsock reset catalog then click on enter net sh int ip reset reset log dot txt then click on enter for us to execute our last uh, set of instructions after that you have to click or oh, you have to type cls to clear all the commands used before after that click on enter and go ahead by typing ipconfig space release click enter then here you should comment ipconfig space slash renew then click enter after that you have to type ipconfig space flash dns enter enter now to apply all the instructions effectively don't forget to restart your system i hope it really was helpful see you in the next one